Today we will be demonstrating the installation process into Natural Slate using the EDL flashing, the BDX insulation collar and a standard Pine GGL roof window. Before you begin your installation, it's a good idea to ensure you have everything you'll need. In this instance, the GGL M04 window, EDL M04 flashing and the BDX M04 insulation collar, which includes underfelt collar. Remove the window from the box and remove the sash from the frame. The sash is disengaged by fully rotating and depressing the two small buttons on the hinges. Fit the corner brackets to the window. Next, establish the opening into which the window will sit, referring to the window instructions. The length of the opening should be the length of the window plus 45 millimeters and the width of the window plus 40 to 60 millimeters. In order to achieve a splayed internal lining for maximum light, the window should be positioned in relation to the roof structure so that the internal lining at the top of the window can run horizontally and the lining at the bottom of the window can run vertically. Cut the felt in the opening as shown and staple in place, trimming any excess felt away. Assemble the insulation collar and screw into place in the opening. Now, set the frame into the opening. Ensure that the bottom of the frame is sitting horizontally and fix one of the bottom brackets. Then, fix one screw into the horizontal slot in the bracket diagonally opposite, leaving it 10 mm proud. Reinsert the sash of the window by inserting the curved hinge pieces into their corresponding grooves and closing the window. Check that the gap between the window and frame is even all the way around and that the window can be opened and closed smoothly. Once satisfied that the window has been installed squarely, remove the sash and finish fixing the remainder of the screws in the brackets. Insert the foam wedges into any gaps around the outer edge of the insulation collar. If the installation is into a counter battened roof, mark a section of the counter battens above the window where the transverse drainage gutter will sit. This should be at an angle to allow water to run off. Now remove the mark sections. This step is not necessary if the roof is not counter battened. Cut the roofing felt along the angle at which the transverse drainage gutter will sit, forming a flap, and apply the sealant provided. Fit the underfelt collar to the frame, ensuring the elongated end is located at the top. Staple to the window frame, shape around the surrounding battens, and staple in place. Fit the drainage gutter above the window, ensuring that it's extended to cover a space wider than the window itself. Fold the overhang of the felt collar over and trim the excess felt. Lay the felt collar into the drainage gutter. Then lay in the flap that was created in the roofing felt, fixing these with the clips provided. Now fit the flashing kit and external cladding parts of the window. These are numbered 1 to 7, both on the installation instructions and on the parts themselves. Fix tabs to the bottom of the window frame. Set part 1 in place and hold in place by folding down the tabs. The part 2 is now screwed in place, holding part 1 down. Starting at the bottom of the window, alternately place the side soakers, part 3, and slates up the sides of the window, folding the tab on each soaker over the next to hold in place. Fit part 4 pieces over the soakers, clipping them into place in the bottom, then screwing them into place. Part 5s are now screwed in place, followed by the hood section, which is part number 6, and the top flashing piece, part number 7, which is fixed in place with folding tabs. Finish slating around the window and ensure that the slates above the window are 60 to 100 mm clear of the top of the window. If the top flashing piece projects from beneath the slate, this can be trimmed away. Refit the sash window. 
the installation is now complete.